Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rothschild Flight Cargo. My name is Junior Kappa, and I'm going to be your pilot for today. Being a pilot is just a dream for many South African children. But with the launch of Rhodesfield Technical School for Aviation, that's about to change. In just a few months, pupils are not only learning how to fly, they've assembled a plane to travel across Africa in December. The plane came in very small parts and we had to read manuals that we've never seen before as high school students. We had to figure out a way to put them back together. We used a lot of skills that we learned from school. So that flight is from Cape Town to Cairo. So obviously it's not one flight. We'd like to explore Africa and to be able to touch the youth there. So we'll be landing in different countries, around 15 in total. The school focuses on math, science, engineering and aviation skills that are lacking in South Africa. Our learners have six compulsory subjects. They do not have a choice of subjects like in an academic school. Our matric certificate is equal to an N3 certificate. So basically your artisans, your people who go out into the industry, they need at least an N3 certificate. The Hauteng Education Department has partnered with the private sector to help train and develop these learners. It has also invested around $24 million in bursaries. They are going to contribute to the economic development and skills revolution in our province. Uh, we need new skills uh, and we have to create interest and these learners are the future. This is very exciting and I'm grateful to the Hauteng government and the Department of Education to be saying that they will be lending a hand as Doing courses in, in aviation is expensive. Rhodesfield is the ninth of 25 specialist schools that will be introduced in the Gauteng province. It marks a huge shift from the traditional education system aimed at developing a skilled workforce. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.